Well, what is up everybody? So, welcome to another episode of Bird Jay's Vlogs, the first unexpected one of 2021. So, yeah, as you saw in that little intro sequence, my Mac decided to not want to boot sometime long ago. So, I decided to get a new SSD adapter for it because that's... Because I did not like how it went in. In fact, I had a screenshot that I took on my phone from from the original video that I made about upgrading it. In fact, if you haven't watched it, I guess you should. Um, but yeah, so what had happened is that I tried to install it, but unfortunately I lost all these little bits that I had on my on my um, screwdriver kit. I mean, this is a nice screwdriver though. Um, but unfortunately I had every bit except for the right-sized pentalobe for use with taking apart this Mac so I could do the installation. I also, before I, before this thing even came, I also wanted to make sure, I also wanted to install the old drive, which I have conveniently wrapped up in so many little bags and stuff. In fact, one little ESD bag out of one of them, just to keep it all safe and stuff. So, yeah. So I ended up, ha so I ended up having to get a new tool thing. Mm, yeah. So, yeah, that's what we got. Anyway, so this apparently does have the pentalobe size that I need, which I think I've seen, which is a good thing, I guess. Mm. And the good thing is they aren't really bit-based. They're just, you take them like they are. Also, it comes with, an actual, with actual spudgers, actually, so that's good. Um, so let me just find my pentalobe screwdriver and let's get this Mac opened and get trying, and before we do, we'll actually see if I can, I'll see if I can open it up and get the, and get it within this SSD adapter that I was using as a clone tool back, back when I originally did that and we did the upgrade. Um, so this way I can actually see if I can boot off of that, off of that USB thing and yeah. And, yeah. Hmm. So, let's do a bit of a visual check before we do any, before we do anything big. So, yeah. You should really check on those batteries. Ooh, that is getting a bit on the spicy side. So, yeah, that's our point of, of fixing. Okay, yeah, it doesn't look, yeah, um... We may not even need the real screenshot from the vlog that I did last time about it. As you can see, there's a bit of a, that you can see that it's actually got a bit of a, it's got a bit of a small, slight, you know, a little bit of a, a, a slope to it. I'm not a huge fan of that. In fact, that's the one big issue with the adapter. Now let me just get it out of the adapter and get it into the thing and let's get to work with it. All right, so if I can get the camera to focus in on it, um, doesn't look like there's inherently any issues with the actual drive itself. It's a yeah, it's it's looking okay. So anyway, so this is the adapter we ended up having to put into the, to it, um, the old one at least. As you can see, it's kind of small and it requires the the um, SSD to be in, put in at a different, in a weirder way, in a weirder angle. Um, so we ended up getting this one, which is from the same company, but it's, but it goes the whole length of the disc instead. Now before we unbox that, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put the current drive into the, into my SSD tester thing, into my into the SSD clone tool, and we shall s try and see if it goes to work and stuff. Alrighty then. Alright, our SSD is in the clone tool. It doesn't look like there's anything inherently wrong with it. It doesn't look like there's any issues, so let's try it. Well, we were able to get it to boot off of the SSD thing and our clone tool, so that means it really was the adapter. The adapter was the one with the actual problems. So, I guess I made a good call on that one. 
Um, let's just make sure it boots up fully, just to make sure that it isn't really an issue with it. Because now it actually is giving itself a fighting chance to do the boot. So, I guess I was right on the money on that. Now, what's really weird is that I was originally thinking that it would be something kind of blatantly obvious, like metal fatigue on one of the solder joints. There we go, back in focal range. But yeah, I thought it would be something kind of obvious with these solder joints, because solder joints, you know, they could fall, they can get some, they could, they could experience stuff like metal fatigue and stuff, because that's a thing. Yeah, Mac OS booted. Um, let's see if I can just log in. But yeah, Mac OS is finally booted and stuff, and yeah, that's looking, that's looking good. It's a bit slow, because uh, yeah, it's on... It's, it's booting off of a USB Type-C device off camera, because we have the thing off camera. But, it's, but I'm actually glad to see that it's actually running. Alright, I'm actually just going to shut it down and, and go back to fixing it and getting this new adapter and see if, see if we could get that fixed up. Alright, it's back in. It's, it looks okay. It's doing okay. Well, it's working again. We've got a, we've got it all working, and let's just shut it down for one final time and and get it all squared away and put back together. Well, as you can plainly see, we are back in business, and it looks like we aren't having any errors. It's working just fine, hopefully. Yeah, it's, it looks like it's actually booting, and yeah, that's that's doing pretty good. So anyway, uh, if you like what you saw, please leave a like and subscribe. Um, I know this wasn't much of a video, but hey, at least it's a video. I wanted to... And you know what? In fact, it's pretty good. Because um, now I can actually do this kind of content. Because that, that was a big hurdle. In fact, that's why I haven't really been uploading for the past two weeks. I mean, one of the weeks I, was actually, I actually got a bit sick. But oh well. But anyway... So thanks, thanks again for watching, um, and bye.